Satanists do not believe in the existence of God, angels, heaven or hell, the devil, Satan, evil spirits, good spirits, tooth fairies or demons. Satanism is atheistic. Autodeists, we worship ourselves. Satanism is materialistic. Satanism is unreligion. In short, it is actually a product of the atheist and materialist philosophy that has been spreading in the 19th century. Like this philosophy, Satanism bases itself on a supposedly scientific theory, Darwin's theory of evolution. An article entitled, Feared Religion, published by the Church of Satan, the meaning that Satan has for Satanists is described as follows. Satan is a symbol of man living as his prideful, carnal nature dictates. The expression, man's carnal nature, actually describes the essence of Satanism. Satanists believe that a human being is basically a wild animal, this tenet of their faith is strongly emphasized in Satanist literature. For example, the Church of Satan repeatedly uses the term carnal beast to refer to a human being. This point of view is at the basis of the Satanist tendency to savagery. For example, Satanists regard assault, bloodshed or rape as right because for them this is the natural behavior of wild animals. For Satanists, a human being is a wild animal that lives according to its appetite, which is what he must do. So where did the Satanists get this belief from? There is only one answer to this question. Darwin's theory of evolution. The document entitled, A Description of Satanism, published by the Church of Satan, says on this topic, All people and animals share a common source in mere biology. Satanism is the belief that humans are nothing more than higher animals. We have no special place in creation other than being lucky to have evolved and survived. The same claim made in Satanist documents can be found in books by many well-known evolutionists who blindly support Darwinism and call themselves scientists. The world views of Satanists and Darwinists are the same. Dr. Roald E. Christensen, who wrote a doctoral thesis on Satanism, describes this dark religion as follows. Satanism can be considered as a form of social Darwinistic religion which seeks to promote the rights of the strongest to dominate the weaker because that is the way in which humanity will advance as a biological species and thereby take care of its role at the spearhead of natural and social evolution. Satanists take the slogan of the theory of evolution that man is an advanced animal as the basis of their philosophy, and they long to establish a world in which human beings live and behave as animals. The basic law of this world, they imagine, is the principle of social Darwinism, that is, the survival of the fittest. Another dark relationship Satanists have is with fascist ideology. It is known that fascism bases its basic philosophy on social Darwinism. 
According to fascism, the world is an arena of a conflict and a fight for life among the various races. For fascists, bloodshed, war, and causing pain to other people are both a sacred duty and a source of pleasure. Another point in common between fascism and Satanism is their admiration for the 19th century atheist and anti-religious philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche's writings are filled with hatred for monotheistic religions. He called himself the Antichrist and went insane before he died. In his writings he attacked the moral virtues of love, compassion and mercy and held that, in their place, the world should be ruled by brute force and those who had power should exercise that rule. Today, Satanists and neo-Nazis are united in their admiration for Nietzsche. They also cooperate with one another. Two priests of the Church of Satan, Anton LaVey and Blanche Barton, gave an interesting answer when asked about the connection between them and the fascist organization. It's an unholy alliance. Many different types of such people have made contact with us in the past. The anti-Christian strength of National Socialist Germany is part of the appeal to Satanists. The drama, the lighting, the choreography with which they moved millions of people. Aesthetics more than anything else are the common ground between Satanism and Fascism. The aesthetics of National Socialism and Satanism dovetail. The aesthetic referred to by Barton is actually nothing more than the ugliness and repulsiveness reflected by the spiritual condition of these two dark ideologies. One of the best examples of the Satanist understanding of aesthetics can be seen in concerts and video clips by heavy metal groups that have adopted this philosophy. For example, one of the best known Satanist fascist music groups, Cradle of Filth, always bases its themes on filth, repulsion and darkness. The group's video clips are recorded in dank, dark places whose floors are covered with mud and tar and whose walls drip with blood and filth. The group members put repulsive and frightening makeup on their faces and wear clothes redolent of filth and homosexuality. In their concerts, the group insult religion. Members of the audience tear up religious books and the group's soloist, Marilyn Manson, suggests to his fans that they assault their own families, society, and religious institutions. In 1995, when asked in an interview what he thought about evolution, he replied, I tend to believe in social Darwinism, so I believe the evolution of society. I guess I believe, to a certain degree, the Darwin theory. I'm not, however, open to the idea of genesis and creationism. It doesn't work for me. It is obvious that the philosophy that drives people to become Satanists is atheism. And the theory it is rooted in is Darwin's theory of evolution. This outmoded theory that defines human beings as a collection of animals is the greatest cause of the rapid spread of Satanism throughout the world. It is important that we learn from this. Those who wonder how Satanism could spread among high school students should have a look at high school textbooks. They will see that Darwin's theory of evolution, the greatest support for Satanism, is imposed on the children in these books.